I'm Dolores Clark. I'm the STEM coordinator at the library. And we're gonna do an activity called color mixing today. So you just need to do a couple things. Then go to this lesson plan and click on the link there. And then watch White Rabbit's Color Book. It's a story about a rabbit that jumps into different cans of paint and then he changes colors. And then gather the materials. You'll need a paper plate, some Q-tips, and three colors of paint. You'll need red, blue, and yellow. So the first thing you do is put little dollars of the three colors of paint on a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can use some cardboard and a real plate, draw around this plate, cut out the circle of cardboard, and then cut out some white paper to put on top. Then it looks just like my plate. So then you put the three dots on your plate, like an easel, kind of in a triangle pattern, and it comes out that. In reality, there are only really three colors. There's yellow, red, and blue. From those three colors, are made all the other colors. The next level up is called the secondary level. From yellow and red is made orange, from red and blue is made purple, and from blue and yellow is made green. Then you take your Q-tip. We're going to make orange from red and yellow. I just use the other end of the Q-tip. You'll have to experiment a little bit until you get the right amount of each color to get the secondary color. There's orange. Then we'll make green out of yellow and blue. There comes our green. The last one is the hardest. Blue and red make purple. If you get too much of either color, it'll turn brown. More blue than red, usually. There is purple. It's dark purple, but it's purple. And that is color. 